only way to get played on BBC Introducing in Scotland is to upload your music to the BBC Uploader, which, if you're interested, is bbc.co.uk forward slash introducing. That is the only way <laughs> to get your music on the show. <laughs> it's different on other BBC radio shows, but for introducing, that is the only way. So even if you email me and Instagram DM me 800 times, Unfortunately, unless your music's on the uploader, then I can't play it. Now that doesn't mean that if you're getting in touch with me on email and Instagram that I'm just gonna dismiss it, I'm absolutely not. But again, like I was saying about doing the research about the shows, it does tick me off a little bit if people are essentially like begging in the DMs to get a play on the show and I'm like, read the information, <laughs> upload it, upload it and then I might play it. So feel free to email me, especially if you're kind of new to music and the scene and everything you might not know about BBC Introducing, of course, that's fine. Send me a DM, send me an email. But for me, do the research about my show, Artie's show. Any kind of show that you're wanting played on, you need to know what the submission process is because otherwise, you just, like Artie said, people listen to a lot of music and you need to give yourself the opportunity to make sure that people are going to pay attention to you rather than just looking at yet another email and being like, okay, no. I think when someone hasn't listened to your show, that makes me mad. It's like, don't contact me to play your music if you haven't taken the time to listen to the show. Figure out what the vibe is with it. Or, and actually what I love, and I don't know if you feel like this, Aisha, as well, is like, if someone's read something and they know what you're into or they've listened to your show and they're like, I know you like this or I've seen that you might like this, it's like that there's a connection there. So I think at the end of the day, the thing is we're people. So connect with us in the same way as you would with people that you want to connect with. And and again, don't don't bombard us with like emails and Instagram messages that just say, do this for me. Because everything, the whole industry, well, world life is all about give and take, but it's also just about relationship. There is a way to submit and that is through email and it's through the email that's listed on the website. And the important thing to remember is I've explained a little bit how the long list works and how um, we kind of see what is submitted through the editor and through the long list. But the important thing to know is that, that we get this a month in advance of the issue being released. So if you've not sent in your press release or if you've not sent in your submission with at least 21 days in advance, it's not going to make that long list. So um, that's really important to remember is to try and make sure you're kind of ahead of the game with that. And emailing is absolutely grand. Again, just also remem remembering that we're, we're, we are people. So if you kind of if you're emailing someone specifically, like you, you've seen a writer and they're public, they've got a social and they talk about their work on their social as well, and you want to email them, I'd say kind of if they've made that public, then that's absolutely fine to do so. Get in contact with someone else, say, oh, I've seen you review this band, like, or this artist, we think they're like, you, you might like us too. That's cool, like, definitely do that. 